Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. Uh, finally, we are on December 4th. The invoice is launched. So this in this video, I'm going to demonstrate what are the minimum steps, you know, if you want to have a QR code. Without this, you cannot. Okay, so number one, click on help. Go to TDLs and add-ons make sure you have this file ready if you don't have then you have to update or check some your version is 2.0 or not so this is number one second step click on company features make sure you have enabled this part okay the date is make sure it's what the date you have given inside so from this date onwards you will be having the QR code and surely you can enable where you want the archive the third step third step is make sure your voucher types if it is existing one you can alter it for example sales if the existing one is already on automatic make sure you create a new one otherwise all your old uh, numbers can go wrong if it is manual or automatic manual or already then you may change it no that's not a big issue anyway make sure you have a backup before you change these things so this was the third step now fourthly you are ready to go so coming to the sales let us go let's type one uh, customer So if you have these details ready, you don't have to press yes all the time, but uh, it will capture it. This is what is going to be captured on your QR code. Just a preview. So you just say yes, and the preview is this. You can see here's uh, QR code is ready. There is an issue with the uh, sales invoice if you don't have the means. For example, any customer, there is no VAT. If there is no VAT and suppose there, there, there are like you, you put regular and if you don't put VAT, tally have because they are blocking it because you are supposed to, if it is a regular, you must input their VAT number. Let us try with this. You see, they say customer VAT number should be 15 digits, and then customer VAT number does not exist. Provide VAT number as per the details. E invoice mandatory information is missing. So the problem was here. You see, it's from if it is regular, you must input the VAT number or make it unregistered and save it. Even immediately after saving, it may not refresh. So to refresh, you may select some another customer and come back here. So the shortcut I use is control enter from here to go there, you know, just like alt C for a new creation control enter is alteration entirely. Right now they will allow you to make the same noise. Yeah, so and uh, there is no bad number for this because he is, is unregistered. So these are the five steps you have to make sure you have. so that your uh, e-invoice becomes smoothly and uh, okay hope this helps thank you